Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add tech loot drops to your Arc PS4 Nitrado server in probably five minutes. This is this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get more players, grow your community and manage your community all in one place, then go to arcps4servers.com and add your server today. We also have downloadable game ini files and a server setup service so you can get your server up and running in minutes instead of hours. Build your community today. Go to arcps4servers.com. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from ArcPS4Servers.com teaching you how to be better. Now, I did make a video a while back on how to add tech to your loot drops using an app called Beacon. That should come up somewhere. I, I, I'm, I keep on forgetting what side's the right side, but it should be coming up at the top right hand corner if you want to go watch that video that is a longer process but that is how you do it yourself in this video i'm going to be showing you how to download a game any file from arcps4servers.com also we're going to be talking about the the new updates to the nitrado interface but let's get into how to get that that game any file so first of all you want to go up here to shop and then go to download game any codes or you can scroll to the bottom of the site on arcps4servers.com and go to download a game any file and this will take you to the page where you can basically see all the game any files that you want to download i will probably segment this in the future so it's segmented into the server rates segmented into loot drops and other different codes that people request that people want and we'll, we'll create those and we'll we'll have different categories for each thing but as you can see we have a variety of different loot, co loot codes loot codes we have a d variety of different game any codes that you can use in order to set up your server in minutes for example if you want 50 times rates three times 100 times whatever you want these are here also we have where's mine the j carter ray one yeah you have you can get my server codes if that's what you want i do need to add borders to these pictures i totally forgot about that but we'll, we'll get that done eventually so in this video we're going to be using the ragnarok modded loot drops and tech drops code so in order to do that we'll just click on this and that'll take us to the actual page where we can purchase it now these products used to only come with a pdf code but now i've added a text file because the way the interface has changed in the nitrado dashboard the text file works and the pdf sometimes doesn't with certain types of code so i would suggest just using the text file you just use that copy it all and paste it in and it will like bob's your uncle it will work straight away and it's quicker than using the pdf file because with a pdf file you kind of got a hold and then scroll down in order to copy it you can't just copy all with control and a or something so a text file is going to help you guys out a whole lot more but that's been added to every game any code on the site so i highly suggest using text files but the pdf file is there if you want to grab that text files should work with any like any format any file any if you're using a laptop a pc a mac anything like that it should work with that so when you get this any package you'll receive a pdf and text file let's look at the the dls that will will basically come with these these modded loot drops what's actually in the loot drops all the information is down here you can see what comes in every single loot drop white drops green drops green drops with rings white drops with rings all that sort of stuff red drops are where the actual tech is and yeah we've got advanced firearms all that sort of stuff and then we got reviews down here so you know if you want to check that out there you go but we're just going to get into it. You guys can read all this. The link will be in the description below for you to go and purchase your own loot drop code. If you want to go and do that, we won't read through each specific thing in this video because I kind of just want to show you how to go through it and get it set up ASAP. So we're just going to add to cart. So once we've added it to cart, it will this will pop up on the top and it will say view cart. And that's what we're going to click because we need to view the cart in order to complete the purchase so we can buy now using this google chrome button thing 
or we can proceed to check out for the purposes of this video i'm going to add my testing coupon code and then we're going to proceed to check out so we applied our coupon code if you've left a review then you'll have a, co a coupon code as well and oh let's just go to proceed to check out and that'll bring us where we need to be so on the checkout page you just want to enter your details on the left hand side and then you can place your order on the right hand side by pressing this you will also be able to use paypal or stripe your credit card debit card all that sort of stuff then just go to place order or if you go through paypal then you'll go through that process or if you go through stripe you'll go through that process and then after you you make your payment it will take you to the download page which we will see in a second once you reach the order completion page, you'll then be able to download the PDF or the text file. Now, I do su suggest you just download both because why not? But we'll be using the text file for this particular example. So let's download the PDF and we'll download the text file at the same time. That downloaded the text, but okay, let's get the PDF too. There we go. So now we can open the PDF file in the browser which will bring this up over here or we can open up the text file which will open in actual text file like this and we just want to copy this and paste it into the game any honestly you don't even have to like get rid of this text i don't think that will actually do anything in your game any file don't think it will actually hurt you although i do suggest you just delete it after so what i'd say is just copy all that's control a then control c and then we'll go over to our game any file and we'll just go to the bottom we'll put us a return so that we're on another line and then we'll just paste all the code in there and as you can see it looks very weird but if you go over to the left Ooh, left there we go now we can see everything you know starts with config and all that sort of stuff and this is what you want to see you want everything to look like this because everything's on its own line if you use the pdf file then it may not appear like this it may be you know all messy and if it's messy and everything's not on its own its own line then as i've tested it doesn't work but you can try it if you really really want to although i highly suggest just using the text file for this particular thing and we can then delete you know downloaded from arc ps4 servers and game any and then what you want to do first of all you should stop your server before doing this i've actually got my test server up to show you like that this stuff actually works because I'll, I'll be showing you the evidence in a second but you want to stop your server before actually pasting anything in or editing your expert mode settings at all but once your server stopped you can paste this in then there'll be a save button down here you'll save that wait 10 minutes and then restart your server and then your server will have modded drops and i'll show you how that looks right about now so here we are and we are at a purple supply crate let's go and open it up and see what we got we've got a metal staircase metal foundations ascendant carnal saddle ramshackle wreck saddle and we, and we probably won't be able to move with all this no we cannot because we haven't added unlimited weight to this particular test server but as you can see these this is not normally what you'd get from a purple drop you definitely wouldn't get metal foundations or metal staircase or anything like that so yes this definitely does work just wanted to make sure you guys could see that so you know <laughs> you know that i'm not trying to sell you some sort of code that doesn't do anything or scam you or anything i really want to help speed up your your server setup process and this is a great way to do it and it helps out the channel helps you out helps everyone out win 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 situation so yeah let's get back to the video peace so i hope this video helped you out and showed you how easy it can be to add tech to your loot drops i think this can get set up in like five minutes like probably less than that depending on how long it's taking the website to load and stuff but the copy and pasting super super quick and yeah if you've got any questions please leave those in the comment section down below if you've got any videos you want me to make leave those down below as well thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next arc survival evolve ps4 server tutorial peace out if you want to host your own arc server then i recommend renting one from natrado 
They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcarteray.com forward slash nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.